I'm very sad. And what do you do when you're sad? You dig yourself deeper into your hole until you can't move anymore. I'm very close, but not quite there yet. So here we go. I'm going to read some mean comments on my videos. Not these videos, my adult videos. This will probably be the most monotonous, as in monotonous, video I've ever made. Because I'm pretty dead inside already, so I don't know if I'll even have most of a reaction. I don't even want... You want to know I'm sad? I'm sad because I have been locked out of every Twitter account I have. Instagram. Snapchat. Fucking... Is there any other social media? I have a TikTok still. No, no, no. Actually, no. I got locked out of my main TikTok, too. I've been using a side TikTok. I don't know what's happening to me. I think the universe is trying to tell me not to use the internet anymore, but I'm not gonna listen. So here we go. Oof, okay. That's embarrassing. All right, hobos or vegans? Both, bitch. Someone says, I don't think you know what a hobo is. You're just being an asshole. I don't see any trains in this vid, so they're probably not, in all caps, hobos. I don't know. I'll take the hobo title, it's pretty dope. <laughs> this is from a channel called Lego Hub. Please build Legos in the next video. I love eating pussy. To quote the late, great Robin Williams, bring a lunch, stay for the day, baby. Why'd you have to bring Robin Williams into this? Let the man rest in peace. Sodomite? This one's just very unsettling to me. It's supposed to be a, com a compliment. It's honestly not a very bad one, but just the way it's worded is very unsettling, makes me very uncomfortable. I don't like it. That's most of my comments, but most of the unsettling ones are just eh, so I'm not gonna read them. But this one, it's like Uncanny Valley. The softness of your little tummy is so sexy. The little hair under your deep navel, too. You have time to craft that. You could proofread it before you hit send. You just not said anything and you decided to call my navel deep my guy looks like i dubs solid work though he's not your guy first of all he's mine second yeah his work is solid i don't know how he would do it soft no. this is my top liked comment ever it has the most likes of any comment on any video i've ever received so it is a champion comment by um, Dr. Underscore Cheesesteak. Got almost 2,000 likes. So here we go, you guys ready for the big reveal? He must have a great personality. And then somebody says, nah bro, it's the hair. Maybe it's both. <laughs> Did you just look down at your dick? Mm -hmm. <laughs> he fucks like Will off the in-betweeners. 18 years old with beer on the shelf? I can't jerk off to this level of irresponsibility. Someone says, calling Bud beer? Literally everyone laughs in your general direction. Good sir. I'm the worst YouTuber ever because I keep looking at the screen and you know that I don't have these memorized, but I, I don't even get the point. Maybe it's not the US. They sell Bud everywhere. I know, isn't that so weird to assume 18 year olds shouldn't be drinking beer? Like fucking literally every other country but the U.S. will let you drink beer at 18 or 19 and like the U.S. is just like nah, fuck that. I love how I'm like I've been kicked off of every form of social media and now I'm just like let's get kicked off of YouTube by swearing profusely and reading my porn comments. Smart. I'm crying. You two are in love. What the fuck? I need a girlfriend. What are you doing on Pornhub then? Is this where you think you're gonna find your love? I mean, lots of people have fallen in love with me here, but I wouldn't say it's reciprocated all the time. This one's gonna be a rough one, right? Right, Steven Flinders. But there's lots of really hot girls that came to your rescue after this one, just so you know. So, just know that. Hot porn star girls. Fucking put some weight on you, Twiggy piece of shit. You look like more of a girl than your girl, and that's coming from a guy with longer hair than you. Next time, tie your hair back so you don't look as much at a pansy, 
and take your fucking glasses off, you C word. I'm not even going to try to say the C word on YouTube. I really don't think it's going to go over well. So, like, uh, which girls? <laughs> well, this carrot32 says, so you got a redhead. She's the top one. I, I didn't screenshot the girls because I didn't think they were as funny because they were just being decent human beings with regular IQ levels. Um, but I do have one right under. And she says, Honestly, shut up. Not everyone needs to fit the stereotype for men to be accepted by society. Don't bring your own insecurities onto the site. Just come here, jack off with your small ass dick, then leave. Simple. Oink, Scooby. That wasn't a gig of ghosts. We had, we heard moaning behind the bookshelf. It was just a couple of sexy hippies getting their freak on. Groovy. Um, that one's from our library video, if you can't tell. And then the one under it says dandruff. And I'm just like, Sam? Um, and somehow the dandruff comment has 42 likes and me telling him it's actually sand only has three. So, there you know. Now you know what you're dealing with on this site. Um, also, like, I don't know why everyone makes this such a big deal. This always happens. Every time I have sand, like, a hundred comments are just like, fucking wash your hair, like, you have dandruff, you need to stop. Like, in one, even if it was dandruff, like, why are you so pressed over dead skin? It's literally just dead skin. Like, if I have a dry scalp, why is that bothering you? I'm gonna be itchy at most. Two, like, what's number two? Oh, like, all my videos are on beaches. Like, why do you expect me to not have sand in my hair? Anyway, goddamn hippies, you made us lose Vietnam, bastards. And this one I think is a, just a great one to wrap it up because 99% of my comments are just about Steven either being skinny, having long hair, wearing glasses. That's it. I think that's all people have on. Oh, having a small dick. So, um, but to um, just wrap that up, as much as I want to crack on this dude, he gets to fuck that hot piece of ass and I'm using my hand. Either way, he wins. I thought this was honestly gonna make me really sad. Um, going through the comments themselves tore me to shreds. It was actually the worst. There are a lot I didn't include because um, I don't even want you to know people think that about me. Don't want that idea to be inserted in your head. I never want to think about it again. And now that I've made this video highlighting some of my favorite and least favorite comments I've ever gotten, um, I think I'm done reading my comments on there for ever <laughs> because it really does hurt like bad like really bad even when you know they're stupid and you know they're coming from people who are thinking with their penis and literally fuck or, you know think being skinny on a dude is bad thinking having long hair on a dude is bad for god's sakes thinking having bad vision makes you unattractive like you should be thankful for people who have bad vision because it's going to make you look more attractive to them. But you have this awful personality, so you're still not going to be attractive. How sad is that? Anyways, and everyone on there is just very sad. You don't go on Pornhub when you're happy. You don't. <laughs> I have never heard someone say, I have a great day. I had a great day. Can't wait to fucking go on Pornhub. Like, as a celebration. I mean, maybe. Maybe people love to jack off to celebrate. I don't know. I don't know, man. Um, I'm done, though. If you want to go read my comments, feel free. There's a million I know I missed. I even searched for a few that I've seen before and couldn't find because I couldn't remember what video they were on and stuff. Highly, highly recommend it when you're not attached to the video, when you're not the one and <laughs> your boyfriend's not the one being picked apart and scrutinized. It's really, it's really funny, honestly. Um, Logic loves to read my Pornhub comments. Logic's girlfriend loves to read my Pornhub comments. They Excuse me. Logic's wife. They're married now. And baby daddy. They're having a baby now, in case you didn't know. I know because I have inside sources. Put them up in the theater room in their, um, in their house. So you better like it or else it's not logical. Oh my god, I think I just better stop the video. So I'm just gonna go. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
I would like to include one of the comments that I couldn't find because it's Steven's favorite. It is, what the fuck do I care? <laughs> Steven just woke up right when I started talking, so he's so confused. What the fuck do I care what Blake from Workaholics is doing? His bitch is fine as fuck, and that's why I'm here. Good morning, baby boy. Good morning.